Hello everyone and welcome to Bevan's Bricks for what I'm going to call my Superman Cave or Lego Barn Update 33 coming up. Well, I went to bed last night and it was spring. I woke up this morning and uh, it's Christmas. <laughs> And here it is guys, the Lego barn in all of its glory. <laughs> As you can see, it has taken me quite a few days uh, to try and get everything up and on the walls. Mind you, all these bins are buildings that I have for my past city and that's why those are still sitting there because the next big task I have is I have to start making a table so I can pull all that stuff out of those bins. As you can see though, I already went through a huge pile of bins and those are all going into the house to go into storage and I already threw all the boxes away. Uh, I will be taking steps throughout the barn to kind of show you what I got going on. This end of the pole barn is what I'm designating strictly for Lego. The other three sections you can see running up that way. I do have mostly Star Wars, but there is Lego included in that, and then I also have my comic book collection. Uh, just something else to show you too, the wall behind me is basically 100% blank, <laughs> and that is done on purpose. Uh, what it is, I'm going to be either hanging tapestries probably for right now, um, but I want to end up painting that wall sky blue and painting some clouds on it. Just trying to get a few different locations of while I'm scrolling around with the camera. Uh, I do have some of my buildings in here already, as you can see. They're on these tables. And that is just until I can get my LEGO City Display tables built over there. Uh, I will do a closer walk to all the walls as well. Like I said, I'm just kind of trying to give a quick walk around. I am just so excited, so happy to finally be done with this project. I, you just can't imagine the happiness that I have right now. Besides building the Lego table for my Lego city display, uh, you can't really see it from where I'm standing, but back behind my build table there, I have a whole bunch of bins. And there's also some bins down at the far end of the garage as well. Uh, and what those are all about <laughs> is it's bins of old Lego sets that I intend on pulling apart and sorting. Um, it's stuff, most of it is built. But like I said, I, I just, me personally, I, I want to get all that stuff stripped apart and put back into my storage bins, my sorting bins, my parts bins, if you will, which is what is all right here. <laughs> because I want to get everything ready and where I can get to it quickly so I can start bringing you guys a whole bunch of really cool videos. I have a lot of new ideas from different various uh, subscribers, you guys out there that have given me ideas on different ways I can make new and improved videos. And I'm hoping to be getting to that here as early as tomorrow. And now I'm going to try and give you one real quick walk through, just kind of seeing the wall as I go. Uh, again, like I said, I have a lot of different stuff, a lot of different hobbies, a lot of different collectibles. And I've tried to get everything and anything that I have on display in here, which was my entire point from the start for making this Lego barn, was just to finally have a place where I can put everything that I find interesting uh, and put it in use out in my Lego barn. Uh, again, this is my film filming area. So you can see nice and clearly that this is like this right here is where I plan on doing all my future videos for the how to guides and stuff like that. Uh, you can even see that I have the highway that I have set here. I'm still going to be altering that a little bit and there'll be more videos coming on that here really soon. And then this is my main filming area. And then all these lights that you see on the ceiling here are controllable for temperature, uh, color, and things of that nature. And then again, more of the Star Wars collection and my comics. Uh, <laughs> again, this is just absolutely awesome. I feel like I own my own little comic book store or hobby store, if you will. Uh, really, really excited. And I just can't wait to start tearing into everything and getting everything going. This is the last shelf I have to fill with comics here. But like I said, that is the end of the walk. Uh, as you can see, I took a lot of the sets that I had on the ground here. And that's what's on these two walls. Plus, it's also what's mixed in with some of the Star Wars stuff down there. And anyway, that's it for tonight's Lego Barn update. Uh, I'm going to call that the official last Lego Barn update. 
Uh, if I do any more, it'll be in regards to the, the, the table I plan on making for my city display, as I've had several people that said that they would like to see videos of how that's done or how I'm going to be doing it anyway um, for assistance for their own home builds and city displays as well. So anyway, as always, thank you for coming to Bevan's Bricks. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share below. And if you get a chance in the description and the comments of this video below, I have some Amazon links. And I know a lot of you have been buying stuff through them because I can see the uh, sales that have been happening from them so I just want to really quickly say thank you as any and all sales that are used through my links do help support my page so again thank you for coming to Bevan's Bricks and we'll see you next time I'm Bevan's Bricks